amazing students. This week, we have a new artist in a new project. And our artist this week is named Kandensky. And he is a very famous artist. And he was born in Russia. He's no longer alive, but he did some very important things for art. He's one of the first people to do abstract art. Do you know what abstract means? Hmm. Let's take a look at some of his paintings to maybe see what abstract looks like. Oh, so we see lots of shapes, lines, colors, but nothing really looks like something. They all just look like a jumbled shapes and lines. Hmm. Abstract is when it doesn't look just like something in real life but the lines are jumbled up and it looks a lot different from what we see in real life. Our piece this week will be making a piece inspired by his style, but we will be doing it a little bit differently. All of your pieces should be different. Here's mine, but this isn't what yours will look like because we are going to do a roll a Kandensky painting. So um, I had a computer dice roller do it for me and I'll post a link for one for you to use but if you have a dice in real life you could also do it that way. So on this sheet that you see right here it shows six different categories. If you don't have a dice, if you don't want to do the dice website that's okay. You can do the same um, things I do but put them in different spots and do it either smaller or bigger um, so ours do look different. As you can see by my piece, I have the lots of lines, the shapes, um, some funky other shapes that he also does, and lots of color, just like Kandinsky uses. Let's get started on our Roll a Kandinsky painting. If you'd like, you could roll your own dice, or you could do the same numbers that I have. So if we look at this chart, we see if we roll a three, on roll one, it is ovals. So draw some ovals. You could do one big one or some small ones. For our next roll, whoop, it is number two. So if you look at roll two and dice two, it is a curl. So let's do a couple curls. You could do big ones, small ones. You could do lots of them or one big one, up to you. You can pause this to take your time. Please, it does go fast, I'm sorry. The third roll is number three. Okay, so those are like those electricity like pops, and they're just like a zigzag balls. So I did quite a few of them on mine. You can do a couple, you could do them big or small, put them wherever you'd like. Remember, I don't want our pieces to look exactly the same, so make sure you don't put your shapes in the same place as I do. Make sure you mix them up. Okay, for the fourth roll, Let's see what number we get. Five. So if we look, we have the triangles inside of the triangle. If you need help understanding this table, um, the sheet that I have on half of this video, you could definitely ask an adult. Or find a couple of shapes that there is on this sheet and do them yourself. All right, for our next one, we have number two, and that line is a zigzag. And I decided to do a huge zigzag right through my piece. For the next roll, we have a number six. So we're doing this rectangle with like zigzags and lines in it. So that's roll six with die six. That's what we get. And so we have our rectangle with zigzag or lines on the inside. And I decided to do a couple of those. I can't wait to see how you do yours. Okay, so once you have all of your things drawn, they're in pencil and you're happy with it, it is time to go over it all with Sharpie or black marker or black crayon. This is super fast because you know the drill. Um, you could pause this and then outline it and then come back. After I outlined the whole thing, I did go in with an eraser to clean up all those pencil lines. And the last step is to color it in. And this is super fast because I want to see your colors you chose and where you put them 
but use the supplies you have. If you only have crayons, just use crayons. You could use markers. I use markers, crayons, and watercolors, but use what you have. You could leave some areas white, or you could color the whole thing in like I did. That is up to you. I can't wait to see your masterpieces. to see yours and I can't wait to see how different yours is from mine and the shapes the colors you use I can't wait so make sure you take a photo your photo is straight it's not blurry and you submit it on Seesaw or Google Classroom I hope you had fun bye